all the YouTubers. Today, I'll be sharing with you all an inverter I bought. It's two weeks now since I received it. The box which it came in was contaminated. So I do away with the box. But today I'll be opening the inverter to have a look inside. I haven't put power on it as yet. But I will be opening it and have a look inside. I cannot pronounce the name. But it's a 6,000 volts peak to 3,000 volts continuous pure sine wave inverter. The DC input volts is... DC 12 volts to 19 volts up to 30 volts. AC output is 230 volts. The rest of the specs I would have at the bottom of the description. The inverter comes with some fuses. which is 50 amp fuse and uh, it has four, four five fuse it comes with six fuses and uh, nut for the battery terminal it comes with two battery leads one remote uh, no battery and since i'm in the caribbean it, it would be difficult for me to get a battery for that so which means i would have to source the battery and a small user's manual the user's manual was at the bo bottom of the box when the box got contaminated so that is no longer useful let me it's very light This is the back of the unit. The thing with that, it doesn't have enough space here to put the battery lugs on. For a 24 volts, I'm not satisfied with that. I tried getting these lugs, but I don't know the actual name of it. So I cannot really source it on Amazon. Before I put any power to this, I will open it to see the wiring. And then I'll make a second video in taking out the bottom to look underneath it. It depends on what I do get inside. With all that said, if you're new to this channel, please like, comment, subscribe, click on the bell icon to be notified of uh, f further videos.
Let's begin. It has two, four, six, eight screws at the front and eight screws at the back. But with this model, if you notice, it has a gap here. So, which means it comes out in two sections. Let's see. Yeah, this is my little tool which is very very handy let's see Hold the screw the wrong place. I took out the screw. This is the cover. It has these plates here because of the. Because of the screws that's here, they put the plates to hide the screws. This is what inside looks like. I forget to mention it has two LED, two meters at the front, which is battery voltage and the uh, AC, USB connector, which I find that's not. Um, useful because I wouldn't be charging or connecting a USB to this. Um, one problem I find, this, they should have it tuned. The other side. Because if you're plugging in something this way, the wire would be over your meter it should have been on the, this side like that so i will be turning that around let me take this down okay i think i have everything there no one thing I notice for a uh, three thousand watts continuously, which I'm not sure. I believe I might get two thousand watts out of this. The, these wires are twelve gauge both live and neutral are the same color it doesn't have a ground on it which that's something i would have to do or put it has six fuse eight fuse two four six eight fuse Two hair, two hair, 
two here and the other two here I know that that's capacitors so I wouldn't be able to tell you or call the names of all the components it has but definitely I will be putting a ground on that I will change these cables it's so close I hope I would be able to get into it it has that has some um, glue to prevent it from shaking this I don't like that so I would have to take out I think these are MOSFETs or drive ICs I would have to take out all these take out those on the other side and uh, try to get below it to see why that is shaking and before I put power onto it I, I also want to check to make sure that all the pins are short that nothing isn't touching the bottom so and I would be putting power out here because 3000 volts continuously that would get hot it's I bought this for me to run my home it's not for me to do some job or use a power tool it's something that would be running continuously that's why I purchased this it has two fans at the back doesn't have what voltage the fans are but this is a 24 volt system when I do test it it depends on how hot it gets I want to place a fan on top here because the cooler it runs would be the better for it so I will be testing these fans to see what voltage coming out of it it has a, a trim pot there I don't know what that pot is for if it's the output voltage Or if it's the amperage so in the next video I'll be taking out these wires looking underneath there to see if I could disconnect that put some thicker wires I'll be putting a ground on that I'll be drilling a hole here to put a nut and bolt so I could connect the ground onto it and I would put a connector here so I'd be able to take the power direct instead of coming through that because I believe that might get hot if I have to run my house continuously on it so this is it this is the inside of the it's a DX GAC 3000 W pure sine wave inverter or a 3000 watt pure sine wave inverter but the model is DX GAC 3000 W 24 volts this is it for now
until the next video where i would be taking out all these screws here taking out the screws here taking out these two panels and have a look beneath the board and also change these little cables if you find this video as helpful please like comment subscribe click on the bell icon to be notified of further videos everything i show in this video i'll have a link in the description if you order from my link i'll get a small commission at no extra cost to you thank you goodbye until the next one